Hello, and welcome to another installment of the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse. I'm Pug, and here's what I'm thinking. Okay, since I have a bunch of new subscribers, and since I've been, uh, I haven't been updating the vlog, uh, my vlog very well the last couple of weeks, um, I just wanted to say a brief uh, summary about what, uh, what uh, the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse is. Um, to everybody who's seeing this for the first time, the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse is my sports vlog. I do opinion pieces uh, and I give you the opportunity to talk with me either with a video response. I haven't got a, 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 wait, yes, I have gotten some video responses. How could I forget that? Anyway, um, or you can just comment and either I <coughs> respond to you uh, via a, uh, a comment or a video response depending on how much time and what mood I'm in throughout the week. So, uh, so that's exactly what it is. Also, if I go to games, uh, I try to take some videos and uh, make that as part of part of my uh, vlog as well. I've gone to two games, and you can see videos in the past uh, if in the in the archive that I have here up uh, up on the internet uh, between the Seattle Sounders and the Boca Juniors and the Seattle Mariners against the LA Angels. Uh, these are different from my uh, MLB TTC videos. Uh, my TTC videos are more along lines uh, for fun and just focusing on the Seattle Mariners and just. Pure, uh, pure emotions as well as stats. Whereas in this, I try to try to come up with something that is interesting to everybody, and what I think is important throughout the sports world. So that's what Pug's thoughts in the doghouse is, and uh, feel free to comment and uh, either below or uh, send me a video response. So, all right. So uh, this week we're going to talk about Pac-10 expansion. As you can see, a Husky fan. Uh, now, just in case you haven't heard, the Pac-10 attempted to increase their conference by 16 games by adding Colorado and a couple of Big 12 schools. Um, it's now not going to happen. Uh, Nebraska has moved to the Big 10, and Texas and Oklahoma decided to stay in the Big 12, which completely killed the idea of a Pac-16. So now the Big 10 has 12 teams, and, or 12 schools, and the Big 12 has 10, and the Pac-10 has 11. That's what we call education, yeah. Oh yeah, we're all math wizards at this point. <laughs> anyway, so next year Colorado will join the Pac-10 and uh, Pac-10 Commissioner Larry Scott is, say is uh, saying they are going to evaluate more expansion options. Um, in fact, it just broke on ESPN right now that they're looking at Utah uh, as being the 12th team. Now, I'm not going to blame Texas, Nebraska, uh, or Oklahoma for moving or staying in their uh, respective conferences, uh, nor am I going to blame Colorado for jumping ship and kind of saying, all right, let's go for it. You know, um, I was on the fence with this expansion idea. You know, there were some good things, there were some bad things, but now since it's not going to happen, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, as I stated before, long ago when I first started this vlog, um, the Pac-10 never gets any love and it's not going to get any love with uh, you know, USC going through their punishment for the next couple of years and also the other powerhouse quote unquote at this time, Oregon is probably going to stumble out of the gate um, with their quarterback, Jeremiah Mazzoli, uh, being kicked off the team. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I believe their backup is Licarda. I believe that's his name. And he, he can play. Don't get me wrong. But I, I just, I mean, Mazzoli was the leader of that team. So uh, this is probably the worst scenario, the Pac-10, uh, for the Pac-10 to be in when it comes to expanding its conference. Uh, I mean, now they will have to find a random school to join to join them and, so they can create two divisions and probably rename the conference the Pac-12. But who exactly are they gonna bring in? You know, you know, you can't have Fresno State because it would throw off the divisions between a North and South division. There'd be too many South division schools. You can't have Boise State uh, because they are already transferred conferences out of the WAC into the Mid Valley Conference. So now what? I mean, if I didn't have the information I have from the Pac-10 and also Central Washington University, which is uh, my alma mater, I would suggest them. But I know for a fact that's not going to happen. And, and you know, and also uh, with Central, after talking with their athletic depart uh, department throughout my time there, they say they're more for the big sky, which for those of you uh, who don't know, that includes East, uh, Eastern Washington, Montana, Montana State. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that's not going to happen. But the other school that I think could potentially uh, be a good fit for the Pac-10 would be Montana. 
but they haven't been in the expansion talks at all. So uh, the Pac-10 is probably going to pick up a no-name school, school unless they can get Utah, which right now they just get, uh, sent an invite to uh, Utah uh, to join the Pac-10. But the number one thing that I'm really that really stinks for me is is, is this. You know, as as a Washington Huskies fan, um, you know. Now there are 11 teams starting in 2011. Now, uh, if you look at the teams geographically, you'll find five schools in a north division that could qualify there, and then you can have six schools in the south division. Now this means if the Pac-10 does go to 12 teams, it's going to take away games uh, take away games against teams like USC and UCLA from the Northwest schools. We're not going to be playing them on a regular basis. Now, those matchups are extremely important. I mean, it, it gives us a chance, uh, teams like the Huskies, a chance to play in the national spotlight for once and get some recognition. Now, we, we never really have gotten good recognition throughout the past couple of years anyway, and I know USC will lose a lot uh, in the next couple of years, but when they become good again, it's going to stink, you know, not having all the Northwest schools play them and get that uh, and get that time on you know, national TV. Now, now, granted, uh, the Northwest schools have been okay the last couple of years. Definitely not for for the Husky standpoint. You know, we we had a you know a season of recovery, if you will, with winning five games last year. So, uh, but at the same time, those games are very important because they bring in a lot of money to the school, a lot of attention to the school. And uh, it would be very disappointing not to play, you know, UCLA, USC, Arizona, Arizona State, Stanford, and Cal every year, uh, like in the past, uh, like in the past, uh, before we went to quote unquote a Pac-11 or Pac-12, you know, uh, particularly the UCLA game. I mean, the UCLA game for the last decade has always been a toss-up, uh, you know, and for for a long period of time until recently, uh, te- the, the home team always won. You know, it's just as it was just a toss-up, and, and all the games were very close. So so it's unfortunate. I mean, the Pac-10 should have waited to have Colorado join their conference. Maybe Colorado should have wait, waited. But Now, granted, they have plenty of time. They have plenty of time to figure something out, but they are now in probably the poorest situation they could ever be in when it comes to expanding. I mean, they, they probably should have taken Boise State when they had the chance. Um, so good luck to the Pac-10 for, uh, to try and fix this problem, and congratulations for screwing it up. And... Uh, the conference will continue to be one of the most overlooked conferences in the country. It, it, it's it's really a pity, and it's it's annoying. It's annoying. So, all right, feel free to comment. And uh, next week uh, we might have a video vlog. Uh, we might. I'm going to at least one, maybe two games. So, uh, uh, so uh, catch more. And thanks for watching another installment of the Pugs Thoughts in the Dark.